played at Michigan and Wisconsin. I mean, how much is that kind of ready made for what you'll see Saturday? Um, yeah, you know, we've played in some pretty tough environments already, and uh, I took an official visit to Ohio State, so I've been to Columbus before. Um, I feel prepared to handle that environment. How's the, uh, how's the body feeling at this point in the season, ahead of the November? It feels good. Um, obviously, last week I only played a half, so it feels a little bit better than normal, but I think our trainers do such a good job, and we have so many resources here um, to get healthy, to, to feel good. Um, you know, if, there's no reason for me not to be feeling good at this point in the season. Taking you back to a rough moment, but when you think about like playing on the turf at Colorado and just being able to play as much as you have and stay as healthy as you have, I mean, I mean what can you say about that? Is kind of that, that journey when maybe you wouldn't have expected that back then? No question. You know, I'm just very fortunate. Um, Obviously a little unlucky there at the first game, my first collegiate game, um, to get hurt. Um, but just thankful, you know, that the trainers did such a good job of getting me back, feeling healthy. The strength staff has, has done a great job. So um, my body holding up is, is really just a credit to them, you know, helping me through this process. Adrian, what are your thoughts about Ohio State's defense for what you've seen? Um, obviously, Ohio State is a very talented team. Uh, I believe they're ranked eighth in the country. Um, you know, their defense is, is no different. You know, they're very talented. Uh, they play aggressive. They play fast. So we're just going to have to come bring our A game and, and be ready to play. How many of those guys you play with uh, down at the Durham or All-American and, and how many have you just run into over the years as a top recruit, their top recruits? Yeah, you know, obviously there's some freshmen there that I know. When I was uh, – on my official visit, Dwayne Haskins was my host. So, you know, I, I know a few of those guys there and um, obviously know some of the coaches there. Um, so there's a little bit of familiarity with some of the, the guys that they have over there. What do you think of him? What do you think of Haskins? Uh, I think he's a great quarterback. Really good dude, too. Did they make a pretty hard run at you, Ohio State? I mean, were you ever really truly considering them when you took your official there? Um, yeah, for, for a while there, you know, there was uh, definitely mutual interest, but uh, Nebraska came into the picture, and, and this is where I ended up playing, you know, thankfully. You, when you have a chance on a, like a Saturday, do you watch football or are you more, i got to get away from this for, for three hours? On Saturday? Yeah. Uh, it depends. Watches football or? Uh, yeah, you know, when I, was, when I was in high school, that's all I did on Saturday, especially being on the West Coast. It was, it was great. You know, I'd wake up, football go to sleep football. Um, but lately, you know, it just depends. You know, uh, if we lose, you know, I typically don't like watching it. But, you know, winning the last few weeks, I watch a little bit more. It just depends. Adrian, you played in Michigan in a 100,000-seat stadium. This is the same thing. What did you learn from that game to kind of help prepare you for a venue like you're going to play at Ohio Stadium on Saturday? Yeah, well, you know, I feel like Memorial Stadium is so loud and it's a tremendous environment. Um, you know, and obviously the big house was, was spectacular as well. Um, but I feel ready. I, I know the team's ready. You know, I, I don't feel nervous about being in front of big crowds. Um, you know, that's kind of the last thing that's on my mind and will be, you know, on, on Saturday. But the crowd noise going to be different when you're under Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Do you remember what, what was Ohio State playing that day that you were there? Michigan State. Coming off a loss to Iowa. Michigan State, Ohio State was Yeah, close. yeah. So just being in that environment, seeing it firsthand, I, I got to believe that somewhat of a fantasy, you knowing what the game day is like in Columbus already. Yeah, you know, I would say a little bit. Uh, a little bit. It's It was a morning game, too. Um, you know, Ohio State's a, a great environment, so they're going to be ready to go. Their fans are going to be pumped up. They're going to fill the stadium, so... Um, Nothing you don't get in the Big Ten, you know, just an ordinary day. Coach um, Ross likes to mention that, you know, you guys are a kid with a nameless and faceless. Can you describe what's that? That's been like the last couple of weeks with the both men in Ohio State, you know, kind of treating the same. Yeah, well, you know, never changing your approach. We need to, we're the type of team that needs to attack every team, you know, as it's uh, a must win game. Um, be aggressive uh, all week, can't take a day for granted. So, um, that's just a credit to our coaching staff. You know, they obviously kind of adopt that mindset in us. And, um, you know, I feel like we've definitely uh, held true to that. Does human nature creep into your own a little bit, though? I don't think so. 
you know, we're in such a habit of attacking each day. You know, I feel like we had a great week of practice last week and um, no disrespect to Bethune, um, but we were ready to go no matter who we were playing. And I feel like it's the same this week. You know, I'm not sure if that's necessarily a question I can answer, um, but it definitely is a great feeling having Noah eligible to play, um, add some depth to the quarterback room for sure. Adrian, did you have to look at how Purdue attacked Ohio State's defense and why they had so much success? Yeah, you know, we've definitely looked at film from the Purdue game as well as several other games, but um, that's definitely part of the breakdown for us. John Reardon was talking to Hall about team leaders holding their peers accountable, whether they're missing a meal or a class or something like that. How have you seen that peer accountability <coughs> kind of grow within the program as the years gone on? Yeah, no question. Um, well, I think that's a, a big part of uh, – a good football team is, is having leaders that don't just have to be the coaches, you know, obviously a team that can lead itself. And um, they, we've done a better and better job of just staying accountable and, and not wanting to let each other down and being on what we call the accountability list. Um, but yeah, like he was saying, you know, we've done a lot better job as the season's progressed and um, fewer and fewer people are ending up on that list. I mean, is it a, it's an actual list that's out in front of everybody. If you... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't want to say too much about it. It's kind of something the players do, and you know. Anything else, Randy? Do you feel like you, you can hold other people accountable as a true freshman, or is that tough? You know, um, when I first got here, you know, I felt like I, I had to earn that spot. Um, I feel like through playing uh, so far this season, I think the guys respect me, and uh, I never try and overreach, overstep anybody. Um, if they're in the wrong, then they should know that just as much as I do. And um, you know, and I expect the same from them. It could be anyone on the team. If they don't think I'm giving my full effort, um, and they say something to me, I'll, I'll take it to heart. Uh, I think that's just how it is. It, it can't be personal. So I do feel like I, I have that voice on the team, and I feel like. There are several people on the team that should feel they have that voice as well. Was there a game uh, or a moment when you felt like teammates were giving you that that respect and the acknowledgement that you were not only starting but good and they, they respected what you did? Um, you know, I can't point to one specific moment, but I think it was just a, a process, um, obviously through playing and, and through practicing hard and just showing that consistent uh, effort. Um, that's kind of what kind of led to that, I guess you could say. Adrian, yeah, I know you weren't around before this, but the last two years, Nebraska has not fared well against Ohio State. Three touchdown underdog at this point. Is this one of these games as you relish and give the sense from your guys that you truly believe in compete Saturday? No question. Um, I believe in our team, I believe in my teammates, and I know we believe in each other. Um, there's no question in all of our minds that we can compete with Ohio State and um, beat Ohio State. That's our goal. Um, I think if you go into a game thinking you can't win, then um, you're already lost.